Okay, welcome back here. We're just going to finish up this problem uh, looking at differences in temperature between the two sections of this building. So we've already done parts A and B where we performed this test on the variance and we found that we had insufficient evidence to reject our null hypotheses saying that as far as the variance goes, I can't say that there's any difference between these two sections of the building. Uh, so now what we're going to do is test to see if there's a difference in the average temperature between these two. So in order to do that, we'll set up another set of hypotheses. And I'm going to set this up. Just We're testing a difference. We don't have any assumption one's greater than the other. So this is, again, just a two-tailed test. It's a two-tailed test on means now. So my notation reflects that. My, my definitions, when we're doing multiple tests using the same data, our definitions have to be the same. So in the first video, I had defined population one is the first section. All I've got for some notation here is the first section. So this is section one or the first section. And then population two, this is the other section or the, the second section here. So we'll, st we'll stick with that same set of definitions to go ahead and do this test now on the sample means. So we'll perform at the same level of significance, alpha is 05. And so now we just have to go ahead and calculate our statistics. So here we have x bar 1, x bar 2, minus some hypothesized difference, oops, I don't need that, divided by that standard error, s1 squared n1 plus s2 squared n2, and we just have to plug in our values. So we have our sample for population one, which I said is the first section. So that's a sample mean of 20.8 minus the other was 18. Our hypothesized difference, we're just testing if there's difference, not any particular magnitude of difference. So that's just zero. And then we have here our sample variances, so 2.8 squared over 15 plus 1.9 squared over 21 locations. And so this is going to give us a T statistic. Let's get my calculator. Uh, I'm going to work, actually I'm going to do this in two steps. Oops. We'll get the denominator there first. These, some of these calculations are more tedious and easier to make mistakes. So 2.8 squared divided by 15 plus 1.9 squared divided by 21 equals square root, so 0.8334, 8334. And our numerator is just 20.8 minus 18, so that's going to be 2.8. And so our test, our t statistic, will come down here. This is 2.8 divided by 0.8334, so 3.36, 3.36. Okay, good, so now we have our test statistic. Now if you remember, if you've looked at some of those videos in module 10, now we have to concern ourselves with the degrees of freedom. So what are the degrees of freedom here? Well, remember there are two methods of calculating the degrees of freedom. One is if we assume the variance is an unequal, and the other is if we have reason to believe that the variances are equal. If the variances are unequal, you might remember there's a huge, big, ugly formula that we had to use to calculate the degrees of freedom if the variances are unequal. Having just done this test and found that we have no reason to believe that the variances are different, we did not reject that hypothesis, we can calculate our degrees of freedom simply as n1 plus n2 minus 2 a much, much simpler calculation. So this is going to be just 15 plus 21 minus 2. So let's just calculate that. 15 plus 21 minus 2, 34 degrees of freedom. Okay, so now we know which variant of the t-distribution to use. 
So we'll go to our T tables, 34 degrees of freedom. Well, we have to approximate it anyways. So we'll use 30 degrees of freedom. Uh, let's just use our p-value approach. So our test statistic here was 3.36. 3.36 is out here somewhere between these two values, fairly close to this one. But we're just not quite there. So here's 3.36 is in here. So our probabilities of interest are here. This is a two-tailed test. Remember, we're testing for equality. So my p-value is going to be between 0.005 and 0.002. So needless to say, we have a very small p-value. It's less than 0 0.005. So given that our level of significance is well, 0 0.05 and our p-value, do I have room to write it in here? is less than 0 0.005, greater than 0 0.002. We can comfortably reject, oops, I didn't write that very well, did I? That should be unequal. So we can comfortably reject that null hypothesis. So what have we learned here? Well, we did the test on variances, and we found that we have no reason to believe that the variances are different. So the shapes of these distributions are, for all intents and purposes, not different from each other. The means, however, we've rejected the null hypothesis that the means are the same. So here we have evidence to show that the means are different. So effectively what we have done, let me just give myself a little bit more space here, is we've found that we have two distributions, their shapes are the same, but they're in different locations. So our, our, both of our variances, I can't say that they're different from each other, so the shapes of these two distributions are, for all intents and purposes, the same, but their location is different. On the number line, they are not in the same position. Okay, so that's it. We've got uh, a bit of information about our temperature issue within the building. The variance between these two sections, the variance in temperature between individual locations in these two sections, the variance is the same. However, there is a difference in the average temperature uh, between these two locations. So maybe there's a problem there that we do need to fix. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.